fuck is that? Is that good enough flat for you, Mike? He didn't want to say that. That's wild. <laughs> Mike got all the Nike golf drip. On oh, my mama. I ain't never I seen swear to God, I Tiger text Woods my dad that too. <laughs> yeah, I did text him. He was like, man, he want to you want to get on the simulator first? Damn. <laughs> you <He> thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> he about to lock in with Mike too. Man, I swear to God. He's going to be, best he gonna be texting though. you every day, bro. He weird. Then, he ain't trying to get you on the course? Yeah, I, I went. I threw the golf ball. He got so mad. <laughs> I was just picking him up and throwing him. Like, yeah, I'm going. No, that why spot. are your hands touching the golf ball? Like, yeah. nigga, I couldn't play. Nigga, I don't know how to swing nothing. You just, you just start that, that nigga hit that motherfucker 200 yards. I was just throwing him off. That shit fucking... first. I went top golf the other day. That shit. Be... It's not it, bro. Man, My... y'all tall too, so that shit probably ain't the best. My type, shoulders bro. don't move with how they supposed to move. <laughs> nah, it's like the follow through. That should be yeah, fucking good. I don't. Anyways, hey, we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. We got a special guest in the building. We're going to holler at him last. To my far left, I got a resident chef, Bishop Greenlee. My boy B here. What's happening with it? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> the shade's back. So you know what time oh, we on today. To my right, my dog, Young Nacho, Young T. What's man. happening with you? Oh, I'm, having a, I'm having a blast, man. You having a blast? <laughs> having a blast. <laughs> having a great day. Oh, oh my God. The shoes reflect as well. Man, these, I swear to God, I don't know about it, though. I was, it was wet outside. I was like, man, I need my worst shoes in my closet. All right. You going to disrespect them in, in the rain like that? It was a damn near a tsunami today in Indianapolis. Shit was crazy. Oh, yeah, these trash. <laughs> I don't like these like this. You disrespectful. Last but not least, to my left, we got an Indiana legend in the building. Long time NBA vet. Fly guy fresh, Mr. Mm-hmm. Gary Harris. G, how you living, man? What's up, man? Life is good. Life is good. Love to hear it, man. Appreciate you pulling up a 520 on a special day. Man. If you don't know what day this is, this is the day before free agency begins. And my dog is still out here hooping, so he got some decisions to make. Talk about that a little bit later in the episode. But first, we got to start the episode off with some fried shit. I had a question for everybody. Uh, everybody hopped on the sticks. You know what I'm saying? Playing concerts hey, and shit. That's crazy. That's <laughs> crazy. Yo, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> oh, wow. Let early, bro. Let it go. Let it go. I'm, I'm on that. Fry. He said fried oh, shit. Yeah, early. Yeah. <laughs> let the beat breathe. Let the beat breathe. Hey, what was the that's hardest crazy. game system or the hardest video game you ever played? NBA 2K or Dreamcast and NFL 2K with uh, Randy Moss on Oh, the God. Front. When you try to hit the free throw, <laughs> yeah, that shit was hard as fuck. Allen Iverson was on the first one. Yeah. Then Randy Moss was on the 2K one for That's the football. Hey, the hardest nigga on the 2K series was Tracy McGrady. T Mac was. And they had gave him nigga. a lazy eye. They was wild. <laughs> oh, they wild yeah, they was wild. He had got that. <laughs> that's before they had real graphics. Yeah. They had a the lazy eye. They, they got it fixed, though. It was crazy. Yeah, that's wild. They mine. fixed it like the free throws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. They fixed it, though. But that was wild. I was like, they really gave T Mac a lazy eye. <laughs> All right, why you hate no T Mac? You know, <laughs> it's even a little person you know right me there. Me and T Mac don't get along. Oh, uh, I ain't cool. say that. He said it. I, I, he cold, but he don't like me. I don't like him either. So, wait, wait, wait. How did this start? I don't even know how we got here, but I love it. I don't know how we got here either, but, but it's here. Really, this is really about him, but i tell it. I was in uh, my third year. I was starting point guard. He came to our team, and he was really pissed that I was starting. Tell him how I pulled up to practice. What did he pull up in? A Maybach? Yeah. yeah, he pulled up in a Maybach. I'm like, you know, I'm a fan. I'm like, damn, that's team making a Maybach with some big-ass Gucci clothes on. I'm like, damn, what up? He was like, what's up? They start calling the starting line of the groups. Nigga look like, this nigga? I'm like, yeah, yeah. He like, man, this nigga trash. Oh, I'm like, <gasps> heart drop. Like, oh, he got me fucked up. <laughs> so now it was fuck T back the whole. <laughs> I just started talking shit to him the rest of the year. Like, yeah. nigga, you ain't never been LeBron. Oh. Nigga, Kobe ain't respect you. Damn. He was like, nigga, who the fuck are you? <laughs> I ain't had shit to say. I just kept talking shit about other niggas. Like, Kobe, man, he said you ain't work hard enough, <laughs> nigga. You average eight motherfucking points. <laughs> he go in over here every day. Then that nigga stole me my chest one day. Damn. I wanted to fight that nigga so bad. That nigga Marvin Williams was like, man, he'll beat the shit out of you. Man, relax. That's crazy. I said, I'm having niggas jump that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so wait till we get to Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead to West Side. Yeah, the whole West Side on that nigga. Uh, hell, I did not know y'all here with T-Mac happy. <laughs> nah, but That's T-Mac, crazy. he was cold. He was cold, but he ain't fuck with me. That's crazy. G, what you was fucking with? You a little bit younger than us, though. Not too young, so. Are you talking about video games? Yeah. Shit, I'm GTA, Vice City. Out of the game. Mm, Vice yeah. City. Yeah, when's GTA 6 going to come out? Because we've been on GTA 5 like the last eight years. Yeah. Them niggas don't that give a fuck like about 10 us. 10 years. That shit came out, what, my sophomore year of college. That shit crazy. No, nah, GTA 5 came out with me and this dude lit together. <clears throat> and that was before we had kids. We both got eight year olds now. 
they've been playing offense a long. What's that shit? T Grizzly and them be playing. GTA. Uh, yeah, they be in like them little like different like rooms and shit. Yeah, they be making that mods shit. though. Like so they yeah. basically make their own world. So it's it's low key fire. Like how they do that shit is just like on some computer shit, but shit, if you milking the game for 10 years, why not? I ain't gotta make a new one if you niggas gonna keep playing the same one. How you make one of them mods though? Shit, it's money. You gotta have people who in that world, but if you can get into that shit, that's it's lucrative. Why we gonna make an Indianapolis world? Nah, that'll be crazy. Damn, though, yeah, that'd yeah. be hard. No, still the idea. We're gonna copyright on this episode right here. So the Indianapolis world. Hell yeah. The only thing gonna be on there is bra ripple. <laughs> <laughs> Bad time in my fault. That's too Shout out to Bra Ripple. I'm just yeah. saying, like, yo, I was time. saying, like, damn, GTA, bro. It, it ain't. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, I was saying it because that's like where everybody go. It's yeah. fuck it. Never mind. Just yeah. Like, yeah. It's all good. We gonna spare you. Out. See how you live. <laughs> Welcome to five twenty. You see where we man, be on it's here. Bad man. timing, bro. Bad it's timing. Bad this. timing. We gonna talk about you a little bit first, man. Obviously, you was that dude in high school. You got Mister Basketball. What people don't know. That's crazy. You was like that on the field too. Oh uh, yeah, football. Like that's what I really like to play was football at first, and uh, I just like then when that shit got cold, I was cool, <laughs> so I was ready to hoop then. But uh, shit, I started playing football in Tennessee, like. Second grade, and then we had moved. We had moved to Indianapolis, uh, up in Fishers, and we had to play uh, flag football. I went from tackle to having to play flag, flag football, so I was already like way more advanced, way more physical. Yeah, yeah. I just took that shit all the way up through high school for real. That's crazy because you you look like you were supposed to be an SEC recruit, so that makes sense that you was playing <laughs> football down there. At what point did you have to decide in high school, like, hey, like I'm really nice in, in basketball, I gotta cut this out? Uh, like my junior year, I wanted to quit football, but my pops wouldn't let me. Dang, like, it was he nothing. was like, yeah, nah. He was like, nah, you started it, you gonna finish it. Um, to this day, like he wanted me to play football in college, but shit, we got guaranteed contracts in the NBA. I was straight on all <laughs> that. You had to go three years from high school. I was, I was cool. Yeah, that's what's so crazy about football. Is you go through all them years of early abuse. I don't even be thinking it'd be the adult stages that be getting boys CTE. It'd be the middle school, high school, unnecessary two that, days. That regular be shit. Them kids that don't even play football, they used to be on some wild shit. Just <laughs> running around, hitting their heads on lockers and shit. Uh-huh. Like, motherfuckers be crazy in high school football, for real. Nah, for real. They take that shit way too serious. That Friday Night Light shit ain't nothing like basketball nights, which is crazy because... Hoops is like one of the biggest things in Indiana, but you'll still see the Friday night, two sad high schools, and it'd be packed out there. For sure. That's crazy. crazy. So obviously you was cold. Um, when did you start your recruitment process to like narrow down where you was going to go for school? Probably like my junior year. Junior and that's year? when I was like, because I was getting recruited for football too. So like I was like, schools was trying to like play the angle, like you come play both, this and that. Lying. And then, yeah, you know how you that know they go. But I'm cool. I'm trying to have a life too in college. Like I'm straight. <laughs> So, uh, like, junior year, I was like, nah, I'm cool. I don't want to play football no more. Mm. So, I ended up playing through my senior year. But, like, junior year, senior year, that's when I, like, fully, like, really, like, concentrated on basketball. And then start, that's when recruitment started to really pick up. And then uh, senior year, I went to my senior year. I wanted to take my official visits. I would have taken one more. I took four. Mm-hmm. But um, she had committed to Michigan State. And then, shit, the rest was history, for real. Now, we know you obviously was rocking up there with Izzo. If it wasn't Michigan State, what was the school that was you was going to rock with? What school you was like, damn, I might fuck with y'all? Uh, shit, like, at first, like, I was like, I really wanted to get recruited by Kentucky. Like, I mm. wanted, I, like, I love Kentucky. Shout uh, out to Moot. Man, that's, man, I'm playing him in high school. That shit used to be so crazy. Um, But, shit, I thought I was going to Indiana the whole time, like, towards that end. Like, I thought I was going to. Really? Like, yeah, I thought I was like, man, like. I wanted to commit, but like my parents like chill, chill, relax. Not the guy. Relax. Chill, relax. chill. Shout out to family. Yeah. Chill, relax. Chill, G, chill. Yeah, yeah, man, you go up there and have a party, man. Hey, All man. All the turned out in the end. Man. Family, yeah. mm. I went up there. I had so much fun when I go up See? there, man. I was G like, did, shit. Right. They took G to the little He lost his mind. <laughs> I was looking at it the wrong way. I'm like, I'm going to know everybody down here. This shit going to be fun. But yeah. then I'm like, man, what am I really trying to do? Exactly. Like, what am I really trying to do? Sure, so, sure. uh, and my Michigan State visit was my last one. And then, like, it was Draymond and Derek Nix. And them niggas was like, Michigan State, we're going to be who we are regardless. If you trying to come up here, you know, have fun, get to the league, and be on some dog shit, come fuck with us. If not, shit, go do your thing. Like, we're going to be Michigan State regardless. That's a fact. And uh, that shit, like, stuck with me. I'm like, man, I'm going to go see what these niggas talking about. And I was fucking with it. Damn, that's hard. Uh, what school offers you to, like, play both, though? Like, uh, like... 
Notre Dame was trying to get me to play both. No. Uh, Iowa, Michigan. That's uh, kind of elite, though. Nah, no, no, both no, 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 like Michigan, that's crazy. Man, what? Like, but I, I used to always want to go to Miami, like for football. Yeah, for you, yeah. like, but they mm. never recruit me. Like, I get calls from Alabama, Florida State, mm. but like, never to you. So, like, that was the only school. If they would have, like, came in, I would have kind of, like, maybe, like, considered it a little bit. Yeah. But, yeah. Other than that, bro, I'm not playing football, no Big Ten football. Like, when that shit cold <laughs> as hell, like, I'm cool. I'm nothing I'm straight. Too. That's crazy. I got a question for both y'all. <clears throat> Obviously, y'all both highly talented recruits. How do y'all feel about the way recruiting is now? Do y'all feel like if y'all was available to, like, go through this process now, shit would have been different for y'all? Shit. Man, I mean, I don't know. That shit's so, there's so much shit going on right now. This shit's so different. Like, that, you know, yeah, we definitely would have been getting paid. For, for sure. sure. Like, we definitely would have been you know, up there getting getting some real money. Cause college shit, that shit was a struggle. We had fifty dollars, man. We thought we was rich. Damn. Man, what? But Y'all been I don't even know. Like I don't I'll be so out of touch with this recruitment shit that's going on right now. It's just be like it's just so much other shit going on. It'd be so crazy. You be seeing dudes now who damn near six men a year on their teams and whatever conference, <laughs> they got Louis on all day. Man, so what? Like, yeah, I'll stay in college for five years. What's up? And, to, and like dudes in college still getting recruited. Like, that nah, shit, that's like, crazy. The transfer portal, that shit real. I seen so. somebody make a video about being about the chance of the transfer portal. He went to Kansas. What's the dude? Went to Michigan. Oh, the white dude? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck Come is this? Come get me. Yeah, he was like, yeah. Free agent. Oh, and he got age. paid too. How much you get? He got over a mil. What? Hey, he got a million dollars to go to Kansas. Hey, why you think Zach Eddie went back to Purdue? They ain't gonna ever talk about how oh, much he, he got. He went back. Yes, sir. Oh man. And I guarantee you, what he was gonna make as a two way or a second round pick, he definitely got that in his it, account. It don't even make sense for some people to go. Like, if you gonna make that money in college, like, man, yeah. you stay. You better oh, wish. Sure. I, one of my young boys at Purdue told me that they guaranteed a hundred k. Everybody on the team. Love. <laughs> A hundred K? G, what you doing in, in Michigan State? Man, <laughs> what you doing in East I'm, Lansing I'm, with a hundred bands? I'm going crazy on Grand River. <laughs> Man, I'm going Man, crazy. I would have had a challenge with <laughs> you. I would have had a scat. <laughs> and wait. What? Put up with a scat. Man, they, ain't no way, bro. Michigan was, State was a party school, too. So give yeah. a nigga a hundred. Nigga said he had $50. Give a nigga a hundred bands. No. I ain't living. They out of pocket. I'm bringing Wait, Boris wasn't no shit. I would have been up there just rich. <laughs> Somebody would try to invest my hundred k that way for us. Fuck y'all! Yeah. <laughs> I would have been throwing concerts to that bitch. See, you, you done turned to a party promoter. That's, that's, what, that's what old nah. buddy did uh, for Miami. Uh, what's the young boy? Uh, yeah, Nigel. Yeah, shout out to Nigel. He Pack. did a party. He did parties. Oh, that's why I would have been on that, bro. See, Boy, that's hard. I got this. I'm bringing okay. future. Okay. <laughs> Run it up, bro. The campus is mine, bro. The campus is y'all. We used to bro. throw parties anyway. Like we didn't go to no frats. We didn't go like we Damn. used to. We had like a five bedroom, five bathroom. So like on the top of this new building. So we was just acting up. Now, like, CG, that that was. I'm. I know you had a Damn. good time at that party. But nigga, give you a hundred k. Fuck that house, man. On me, <laughs> look, look, on me. That motherfucker auditorium. <laughs> give me that gym. Give me that field. <laughs> Bitch, we bring it Uzi. He been a motherfucking TikTok out of this bitch, and we gonna run it up. Swear to God. <laughs> hey, free little Uzi. I saw the BET Awards. That wasn't nice, Jay Z. Oh, uh, man. I ain't watch. Uzi drops tonight. Hey. He dropping. Yes, sir. Yeah. Y'all like Uzi? I fuck with Uzi. I fuck with Uzi. He's a good party. I can't, really, I can't really catch on. Yeah, 444 four, four, times 222. Two, two. That's different. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, it's a different, it's a different yeah, party. He be on some shit. Yeah. 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 I'm at. The, I'm You're too old, bro. You, Rakim, <laughs> Eric B. That, that ain't really your swag. Man, what's wrong with him, man? <laughs> he ain't that nigga like older than me. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't tapped in like that. Hey, when my nigga got the shades on, I know he's gonna guarantee. Yeah, he he's always like, yeah. That's go his ahead, game. Go, go ahead, nah. I ain't gonna go crazy. Go I'm ahead. just saying, who's ain't really your there. swag? You you keep wearing that fucking New York hat. I was trying. I'm making <laughs> a point. <laughs> I'm making a point. <laughs> this dude, wow. All right, so you get to Michigan State. Obviously, before we even get to Michigan State, y'all Indiana high school all-star team, y'all had a whip. Y'all had like five NBA players. Man, it was cold. So was you cold. go from that summer of killing with them and then to Michigan State. How was that transition from being a man to going to an Izzo-led team? Um, It was just, it was different for me because that was my first time where I just had fully to concentrate straight on basketball because I, I do football and basketball. Damn. So like when I got up there, like, it was cool. Like, it was just, like, real chill. Like, uh, Denzel Valentine was my roommate. So, he from Lansing. So, 
Like, I know everything. I'm We going to all the spots. He taking me to all the spots. We working out. And this summer is real light. So I'm thinking that shit real chill. Like, mm-hmm. it's being cool. Summer workouts, he ain't really yelling. I'm thinking like, yo, everybody's saying how crazy he is, this and that. So chill. But as soon as school start and that real practice start, man, he flipped that switch so crazy. <laughs> and my dad, he used to be hard on me. He used to always be yelling at me, acting crazy. And Iz used to try to just act nuts like he's he's <laughs> insane like people when you up there like i promise you like i love his though like i got nothing but good things to say but when you up there and you in there you hate him you yeah. hate him but he prepares you for like the shit that you deal with once you leave but that shit was hard at first it's just him just just little motherfucker just yelling at me all the time <laughs> and just like having to listen to everything he say because i really want to say fuck this shit like yeah. bro you ain't my dad bro don't be raising your voice and shit like but he was cool, man. He ended up like, he told me, like, he's not going to guarantee me the starting spot, but he's going to give me every opportunity to, to play. And uh, he did that. And, like, he he went to bat for me the whole time when I was up there. So, that, you know, that's my dog. Hey, that's hard. Yeah, you be saying, like, he talks about all the time, like, yeah, it's cool, whatever crew do you get there? And be like, damn, this shit crazy. Yeah, no, nah, they, uh-huh. my, you the best shit ever. Then you get up there, motherfucker, you suck. I'm like, <laughs> I'm glad you said that for everybody that keep acting like they can't they get recruited. One of the players on Pike, they texting me right now. I said, bro, they don't give a fuck about you. Wait, on one of your teams? <laughs> but don't even worry about it. The text. Yeah, I'm just like, bro, when you get there, bro, they're gonna curse you out, bro. Sure. They don't love you like that. Oh my god. Yeah, that, Man. Shout oh, out me. to whoever on your team's mm-hmm. getting the fucking call. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, hey, you nah, hate hey, he's out of pocket. <laughs> Shout out to the Pike Red Devils. We on the way. Don't disrespect. Hey, we, we don't know. Shout we, out we to my young up, bulls. We coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy guy. Yeah. Hey, that's, hey. But I try to tell them, like, bro, you get recruited, they're going to tell you everything you want to hear. And yeah, so you get there, they're going to turn up on you. Yeah, yeah they're going to turn up. So. Just, Who was out on your Indiana All-Star team? So it was me, Yogi, yeah. Ronnie, uh, Jeremy. Uh, we had uh, RJ Hunter. Shout out to RJ. Um, uh, who else we had? Glenn Robinson was on there. Shout out to GR. Damn. Um, Damn. Ron Patterson. Shout out to Bus, Bus. my hey, boy. Yeah. He went to Syracuse and come got on, fucked st- up. St- See, stop running. <laughs> stop running, Buster. Stop Bus, running. Buster, you supposed to come on the show so we can talk about Jim Beheim nah, on your ass. a crazy ass. team, though, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Nah, nah, we was, nah, that shit was fun because we knew we was nice because when we was the juniors, we used to play the seniors. Y'all smacking like, them. Now nah, they beat us the first game, but we got them the second game. Mm. We was just like, who was I, on the senior team? Uh, it was Zeller, your brother. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's cool thing. But um, who else did they had? They had little Nick Moore. He was getting buckets. Nick Moore had a um, clippy, man, elite clip. But they was cold though. Like I remember, like they they was nice. So, but when we knew when we was gonna play the juniors coming in, we knew they ain't had no chance. You was telling Zach that, like, y'all yeah, nah, he, yeah, nah, he knew we was he ain't had no chance. And that's crazy, man. We go back to high school, but that's fire that your school had two Mr. Basketball back to back. Like you and your homie yeah. went back to back. That's fire. Uh, no, that's just crazy. Like just like looking back on it, like even like the whole Mr. Basketball. I didn't think I was gonna win that shit, like at all. Like I committed to Michigan State. You got Yogi going to IU. I'm just like, oh yeah, you know how that goes, man. Like I just hold yeah. like, man, I'm in the running. If it happens, whatever. Like I'm thinking like I'm not gonna win this shit. Yeah. I won it. That shit was crazy, and then. I'm looking at it and I told Irv, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got opportunity to do the same shit. Like, we ain't, we ain't never win shit, which is crazy. <laughs> like, we ain't never, like, the farthest we went was regionals and North Central got us up out of there in the finals. Um, so I'm just like, bro, like, you got opportunity. Like, y'all got a decent team. Like, go ahead, try to get that shit. You can win Mr. Basketball, do this and that. And you got to miss the basketball. He still ain't win shit, but. <laughs> what you, you think y'all was missing, though, bro? A big? Man, we was missing motherfuckers who really wanted to hoop. Like oh, it was y'all football players. Oh, so we had like <laughs> we had <laughs> like we had like three dudes that really wanted to like took basketball serious. And right. there was some younger dudes that was coming up, yeah. but like mm-hmm. most of these dudes, they parents just donated to the thing, mm. to the to the to the, to the athletic shit. Yeah. And you know, like we had hella politics. There was a bunch of people around there that could hoop at HSC. And like mm. that was a everybody told me not to go to HSC. Like, don't go, don't go, you're not gonna play. Um, wait, that's why you weren't gonna play. Yeah, like my like my freshman year before I'm about to go, like like don't go. They don't. You ain't gonna start. You ain't gonna play no varsity. You know what I'm saying? That's what they agency know. He ain't. He black. You ain't about to play. You gonna have to that's play crazy. freshman. This and that. So um, I go and then, you know I'm coming. I'm starting to come into my own and you know I'm, I'm I'm on varsity and I'm not starting. I'm not playing. Like they bullshit my minutes. 
But by the end of the season, like I'm start playing this and that. Mm -hmm. Sophomore year, like this is my shit. And then we just ran it all the way through. But yeah. everybody else, like the loops and holes that they had to jump through and like, it was tough. And like niggas just said, fuck that shit. We ain't even about to hoop. We ain't even about real. to do that shit. And then the people that did is just like, they would hoop, but like, we had come in like, man, we played, man, we played tech one game. Trey yeah. Lyle tech? Nah, Trey Lyle wasn't even there yet. Damn. Uh, it was my sophomore year. So like, motherfuckers were scared. Like, they ain't, uh, ain't want to play. Like, you got to see where like, you was, G. You know, yeah, yeah but yeah. like, you <laughs> understand. But like, yeah. we ain't going to win. We got motherfuckers that really want to hoop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, it was tough. Yeah. But we ended up figuring it out. We ended up being good, but we was never good enough to make it to that state. I mean, we were, but our mm -hmm. section, we were. had North Central, I had us, hitters. and Carmel. We was the three best teams in the state. Yeah. yeah. It's like. Yeah, I mean, you tough. historic moment, but you on Sports Center with the with the G-Dub, but like, y'all in North Central was what? One and two? In, yeah, we was one and two playing the first round. A sectional. A sectional. Yeah, that's crazy. And that's that crazy. That no sense. Yeah, it used man. to be like that back in the day for schools more in the city, the poor kids. That was like. Man, yeah, we play like pipe. We used to play Northwest. Northwest, yeah. yeah. So it was like that too in the city. So y'all always was wondering like what y'all was missing, but now that you say politics played a part, that yeah, makes that makes sense. Crazy. And like yeah. even like like what you doing at Pike? That's I think that's just so hard. Just like, I appreciate it, man. You know what I'm saying? I you think, think my work is man. Do hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Give me Miss Flyers for sure. <laughs> nah. Hey, can I ask you a question though? Yeah. So when when Zach went to Michigan, what was that like? Like so he bro. Com he committed before me. So like, damn. Oh, damn. Yeah. So like, <laughs> so you, it was you. Yeah. <laughs> so you made the beef. You so, made the beef. I'm, yeah. so I'm like, I'm like, he he was ready to commit. Like okay. he got he committed. What well, his his sophomore year, my junior year, and I'm still not committed. And I start taking my visits, and it just happened to be Michigan State. So then it's like, all right, yeah, nah, shit, we ain't fucking with y'all. Yeah. Like that's my dog, but like, yeah, shit, we my last game playing me and Zach was ever on the court together. It was a Big Ten championship, Michigan State versus Michigan. That's so hard. And though. we beat them mm. at. It was Bankers Life, but we beat them right downtown. So that's that hard. shit was hard. Yeah. That's hard. You got the bragging rights. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let nah. them know what time it is. They had smacked us twice that year, though, during the year, though. Damn. Yeah, they did. But we won that shit. Said, I remember that. Fetty and shit was coming down. <laughs> He's stunning on you now, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's tough. <laughs> I can't walk. <laughs> Something on my feet. Man. So obviously, you had a crazy career in Michigan State. Um, when did you know he was going to the draft? Did you know like that year or did somebody had to talk you into or you just got the I draft knew, boards? I knew my sophomore year. Like my freshman year, like I really wasn't on no social media and shit like that. And I really didn't understand. Like I was just trying to figure it out. And I'm thinking I'm having an okay freshman year. And then we was playing in Lucas Oil and Duke smacked us in the Sweet 16. Tough. Um, and everybody in my locker, and I ain't play good, but I'm just like, damn, like <laughs> I can't even imagine what they about to ask me. And the first thing they ask me is just like, so what are you going to do next year? And I'm like, what you talking about? Like, are you going to come back? Are you going to come back for your summer year? Are you going to go to the draft? This and that. And that shit was like a huge shock to me. I was like, man, whoa. Like, I didn't even think about that. I ain't even lived. I lived in the dorms. I'm like, man, I ain't <laughs> even really been on my own yet. And I really was like, man, I, I'm, I'm damn straight. I damn want to come back. Damn. But when I went back, I went through that year like, all right, this is my last year. Like this my this is gonna be my senior. Year. I'm gonna do everything I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna lock in and I'm gonna prepare myself. And next year I'm going to leave regardless. That's so, hard, man. That's kind of like similar with you, right? I mean, you you kind of yeah. decided later, but you you knew your sophomore year like, all right, I'm different. Yeah, they told me I could be a late first or early second my freshman year. I almost went. <laughs> I was that kind of guy. Like I would have went to overtime. I'm that kind of kid. You know, overtime late. Yeah, yeah I would have been there. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, that was the same situation as him. But we knew we was getting a number one recruit when I was going into my sophomore. We was getting out Farouk. Oh, okay. So we knew Farouk was the number one recruit. So I'm like, oh, we going to be cold. We getting him. For sure. And we was bro. getting three other McDonald's All-Americans. I'm like, oh, our team about to be cold. And I knew, you know, I'm a fucked up. And my mind fucked up. So I'm like, they going to get all the attention. I'm going to steal that shit. <laughs> Nah, wow. you, uh, <laughs> you awake for us, bro. Like, I used to play with you on the man, game, bro. I'm sorry, man. Bro, <laughs> it's like, damn, I, you, bro I used to, like, bro, I love Wake Forest, bro. Like, I remember, what was that? Like, Anaheim, you had some dunk. It was on, uh, oh, man. on Sports Center. I'm bro, like, he acting like I'm nigga. old, bro. No, nah, that <laughs> shit. So I was playing with you on the game. Yeah, yeah, I said, oh, for real. The game ain't been out since <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I created a whole oh, game, God. bro. I was playing with him and for real. the schools and shit. Oh, 
Oh God! <laughs> Damn, that's the first time I feel old. This motherfucker. Swear. Dang. This is Steve. Dang. Because I remember when he got drafted, I was like, "Damn, what's a nigga from Nap another one week?" Man, nineteenth, nineteenth pick. Yeah, bro, they got say, hey, yeah. it's special. Yeah. Got like another that's one. Hey, yeah, that's tight, bro. Yeah. It was hard. I was like, another one. That's cool. Hey, yeah, that's hard. Let's talk about that shit. Obviously, you declare. Um, how was your draft process? Because you had a very so unique draft. Shit. You hated I, hated <laughs> so I hated the draft process, yeah, man. Jesus trash. You worked out for a whole bunch of teams. Man, yeah. Again, can I shut it down yet? Can I shut it down? Nah. Next city. But that shit was like, that shit's just like the worst part, just from going from college and just flying around and doing all these workouts, trying to like be perfect in all these workouts, trying to dunk mm-hmm. everything, make every shot. I'm like, bro, this shit not even real. Hoop for real. Like, <laughs> this shit, but. The workout warriors. Man. They thrive. So like I go to the draft, I go to the green room, and I'm thinking like, "She lottery, I'm I ain't gonna fall out the lottery, I'm good." Like, and we uh we sit in the draft room, and the guard that won Big Ten Player of the Year that year, Nick Stauskas, because I won Freshman of the Year, and he mm-hmm. was in Michigan, he won, he got drafted at like seven or eight, and I'm just like, "All right, bet I got to come up soon, some, it get to like twelve, I'm like, then this is the point, I'm looking at the iPad, and this is when Woj just like five picks ahead of what's really going on. So mm-hmm. I'm like, it's like pick 12 and it's like pick 16. I still don't see my name. So I'm like, I'm looking at my age. I'm starting to cuss him. I'm like, yo, what the fuck going on? You said I wasn't going to slide this mm-hmm. and that. Like, and then it's getting to the point. I'm like, man, fuck it. I just want to go to the second round. Fuck it. I'll just go second round. I'm just saying whatever yeah. at this point. Like, I'm seeing how much money I'm losing this and that. And I'm like, Ooh. man, this is some <laughs> bullshit. And then he's like, yeah, you know, he was like, with Indiana or something was at like 27. And it was like, you can't fall past 27. I'm like, 27? I'm like, man, fuck that. Like, that's when I'm like, bro, I'll just go second round then, bro. Yeah. Like, bro, sh- fuck that. And then I got the call that uh, Chicago was going to draft me at 19. And I was about to go to Denver and everything was cool. I walked across the straight stage, shook his hand. Shit was smooth. Surreal moment. Like, that mm-hmm. shit was like a... Yeah. Uh, a dream come true. But like during it, like I just know my nerves was crazy. I'm like, bro, this shit wow. It's so crazy. Every time we have somebody on this show that played a professional sport, they talk about that draft process. It's like the best day and the most fucking nerve wracking day. Cause yeah. you don't know how your day gonna go. And that's mm-hmm. crazy to me. Man, like me, like I ain't never been out the Midwest my whole life. So I'm just like, man, I don't know where I'm gonna go. I'm seeing oh, all Phoenix, I'm seeing Sacramento, I'm seeing Orlando. I'm like, man, like I ain't never been this far from the crib. So uh, to go back to Colorado, to go to Denver, like that was a huge culture shock. But like at 19, bro, that shit was good. I needed that shit. So did you know the trade was happening before you got drafted or did you know after? I, I, didn't, under, I didn't understand what they were saying at first. But then like as soon as I got off the stage, I understood, like, because like I had the Bulls hat and everything. So I'm like, they have to stop that shit. Why don't they just give out a hat of the team? I know it's got like, a process, no. but that's fuck. All right. If you want your draft night picture, you got to explain that to people who don't know. Because I mean, I guess, because you know, tra- like, slightest chance some trades do fall through. Like, yeah, it, uh, yeah. what the Boston one had just fell through. <laughs> uh, KP said, fuck that. Man, man that shit was crazy. Yeah. And that's, man, but, I love it. Yeah. That's crazy. So you go to Denver, obviously, your first time being out the Midwest. What was your first impression of being in the NBA? What was your first time of like, damn, all right, I'm really in this motherfucker? Uh, shit, like summer league that you you know you get welcome in summer league, but like once the, like the season started, it was crazy because it's like open at night and like everybody texts me like, good luck in your game, good luck this and that, and I'm going to a team like I'm a rookie and this we had vets, we had yep. Wilson Chandler, Ty Lawson, uh, Aaron Aflalo, we had Kendra Fareed. Man, you Nate Robinson, Javale McGee. Yeah, they had a whip. <clears throat> Man, I wasn't playing. <laughs> nah. Yo, because nah, that's why Aaron that follow was in his bag. Man, what? Will was in his bag. Damn, Gall- that Gallinari. Bro. Damn, uh, that was damn. Yeah, G, oh, learn, look. learn from us. Get these bags, man. Look, man, <laughs> I got going. Everybody talking to me. Good luck, bro. I'm not even about to be on the bench. I'm not even. I'm on the. We got the suit. That's when we had to wear suits and the blazers oh, and damn. shit, man. I'm Nancy like, dress code. Bro, I'm like, bro, fuck this, bro. I'm, <laughs> I'm just in this bitch working out all day, not even playing. And I'm like, no, that's what, I got the dress though. I get fucked up. I had a sweatsuit though. Fuck that. I wasn't getting in that motherfucker, but they gave me a jersey. You had a Jeez. blazer on, man. Fuck that. That's Damn. the worst though. Yeah, nah. Like you shit. go from the highest to highest, like being in college, being in play all the games, yeah, yeah. get all the shots, get the minutes, and then you go to the bottom of the barrel, like, man. man. Which one of them niggas pulled you to the side though and hollered at you about the. Uh, you know, 
Nah, Who Randy that? Randy Ford. Randy Ford was like huge. Shout Randy Ford over. and Nate Rob. Like okay. Nate Rob used to sit next to me on the plane. Like that's my dog. Yeah. Um, Randy too. Like Randy, it was crazy because the first day I played, first game I played was here in Indianapolis. Um, got a boom. And Randy, yeah, yep, yeah, nice yeah, boom. Yeah. Randy, I was there actually. Uh, this one. Day. He was like before the game, and he's like, he's like, I don't know if I'm gonna play tonight. Be ready. And I'm like, Shit, all right. I mean, I guess like we gonna see, like. I'm gonna dress like I'm finally dressing, but like mm-hmm. I ain't finna play. Man, I got in the second rotation. I'm like, oh shit. Like, I'm really out here. And then I like I had got like a steal. Like it just came, it just fell in my lap. And I just I just came. I just did a little euro. I laid that bitch in. And that was like my first bucket. And I'm just like, damn, this shit crazy. Like at the crib. What? I just yeah. play Indiana All-Stars in there. Like, man, I like this shit hard. And yeah. then had a decent little game, and then I went back to being on the bench. <laughs> 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 I was like, that. I was like, that. At least you got to get could... your shit off at the crib. Nah, though. for yeah. real. Like, yeah, nah. I'm fucking with Randy Ford. Yeah, yeah right. Randy Ford, the first nigga to like bust a pause, like, kill me. Oh, for real? Bro, I played him. This nigga, I ain't know how to guard no screens, nothing. I'm crushed oh, yeah, off of not playing doing. no yeah. defense. Right. He coming off pin downs. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I keep looking like, who is this nigga, man? And he cash. He playing for the Wizards at this time, I think. Ooh, he had a He was coming man. off. He had an arm sleeve, too? Man, he was hitting every man, fucking what? shot. Randy get hot, man. Man, man he man. was tearing me bro. up, bro. And then he was he wasn't saying a word. Don't say nothing. He was just... Damn. <laughs> Don't say nothing. I'm like, man, who is this nigga? They like, that's a nigga from Villanova. <laughs> I'm like, who? They like, Randy Foy. I was like, I don't remember that nigga. Like, with Kyle Lowry. I'm like... This they had nigga, a whip. two they guard. Had a whip. That was the first. Uh, but I thought that nigga guards. played the four. four guard. They had four guard. Oh, they did this small ball <laughs> shit. Allen Ray. <laughs> that nigga yeah. played the four in college. So I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. He was tearing me up, but nah, he a good dude. He was cool. <clears throat> Damn, that's crazy. You was in Denver. You had to deal with that altitude. The niggas be talking about. Is that really real like that? Nah, that that's really home court right. advantage. That shit real. That shit cheating. You said yeah. cheating you nothing. That, that shit real. Bro. But like, say we go on like an East Coast road trip. That first game back. That shit's awful. Uh, so it hit y'all still too, man. Yeah, like once you like leave for a certain amount of time, like that shit, like it's like it's like a reset button. But like once we at home, two weeks stretch at home, we go back to sea level. Oh, uh, no, nah, we running. We gonna run for sure. That's yeah. crazy. I thought niggas just put a little cap in it because niggas can go up there and blow but, the loud with no penalty. But man, I think Utah worse. Like for me, like I don't know when I go to Utah, like I was like, man, I think this shit worse than Denver. I don't know. Maybe it was just because it's so hard to play in Utah. But I like, man, because you black. Man, Utah's hey. my favorite place to play. I, hey, I ain't went to Utah until like six years into the league. Damn, I, Damn. Yeah. I never won in San Antonio. Never, never. My whole career, I never won a game. Even in when they was trash, never won a game in San that's Antonio. Crazy. Damn, that's, that's the crazy. wild as hell. You played a long ass. I time. never played every year. Time. <laughs> you played one time in Utah every single year. You sure, so, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I never won in San Antonio. I believe you. That's crazy. Damn. We beat them. I beat them at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when I was with the Hawks, nigga, we was on like a 22-year <clears throat> losing streak at San Antonio. Damn. Like, niggas could never yeah. win. Like, when Bud came, he used to be like, please. <laughs> I like, Shout out to the I told you one time we almost beat them. The guy hit a three-pointer over <laughs> Kawhi. I'm like, yeah. I thought we won a game. Bro. Tim Duncan hit a three off the backboard. Of- <laughs> 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 I was like, bro, it just ain't Was that the 14 squiddy? Man, I ain't about to start that shit with this. <laughs> I, I was just bro, asking. I was surprised that 14 Damn, that, that team, one of, the, one of y'all losses was at Utah. I got to look it up now. That's nah, I was in San Antonio, San Antonio. I said San Antonio. Yeah, oh, okay. okay. You saw about teams. Was there one player that like you like got the best of you, you didn't understand why? One person in the league just like gave you trouble. You just never understood why? Because obviously, you know him for being such a two-way player that they put you on probably whoever the best wing was. Who is that dude? You was like, damn, like I really gotta get ready for this dude. Bro, that shit just depend on the night for real, bro. Like, bro, niggas are so talented, bro. Like, mm-hmm. you just gotta make it difficult. Like, and if you guarding somebody that's fucking they in the oven, they run and they it's they shit, and they getting their shots up, they getting their 12 to 15 shots a game. It's it's hard to stop that shit. Like, just completely lock a nigga up. But as far as like, I can't think of just like one person that just like it's been plenty of niggas, but it's just like, it just depends on the day. It could be anybody if you ain't locked in for real. Yeah, because like you said, with your position, especially with you being so important on defense, you got to guard that code ass point guard or that two or sometimes that three guard. And that's probably the worst position in the NBA to have to switch through. Or just who's the hardest person you ever think you had to guard, though? Yeah, you was in there with everybody. You had to guard a lot of them. Two guards too. Yeah, you, you, had, to go, you, had, you had to guard, guard Kyrie. Kyrie. Man, yeah, I guard Cole. I guard yeah, old Cole. Old Cole gave us thirty. 
Damn. Man, yeah. they Kobe. Yeah. I right, Kobe definitely is a disrespect Denver. Nah, that shit was crazy in Denver too. <laughs> like in Denver, yeah, he funny as hell. <laughs> he funny as hell. Right, bro. That's nah. the wrong with it, bro. That's but like crazy. all them, they like Kobe, Kobe. You got Kyrie. Uh, go, bro. Disrespect. Everybody, all the everybody who think is tough to guard, them niggas used to be tough, tough. to guard for real. Yeah. Damn, that's who right. gave you the most points? I could tell you who gave me. I remember we played Steph in China, right? <laughs> Wait, what? We went to China. We played. We played KD, Steph, them niggas. Man, I swear uh, to God, anyway. I played the best defense, the hardest defense I ever played in my life. Why? Nigga, I was trying to like, I wasn't trying to get embarrassed. You know, it's a hundred thousand people in the stands in China. Oh, no, China, that shit bro. crazy. Yeah. Gotta see. <laughs> Respect. So I'm like, fuck that. He ain't about to kill me. Bro, I swear to God, I played. So I've never played this hard. See, if after the game came to me and said, that's the best defense I ever played. Steph Curry had 44. <laughs> He hit every shot, bro. Stupid ass. He hit every there. shot, bro. <laughs> every time I, I contested everyone, bro. And at one point, he started doing that shit. Cause we in China. I got yeah. some ass. I said, hey man, stop that whole ass shit. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, like <laughs> the yeah, I want to fight. I want to fight. But me and Steph knew each other. We was all Americans in, in college together. We he was right roommates there. and shit. Yeah, that's my man. <laughs> so we like he like, nah, T, you got, you know. You gotta be more personable so people can like you and shit. <laughs> like when you make a shot, like look at your hand, do some shit. I'm like, man, fuck that shit. <laughs> you making every shot, <laughs> nigga. I only made four. <laughs> you can stop doing that shit. We was roommates and shit. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, don't give a fuck. <laughs> Christmas, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, oh, my mom, he was. He gave me 44 after shots. the game. <laughs> yeah, so but after the game, I'm like, fuck. I'm looking at everybody wig like, it's cool, bro. You was playing hard. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. That's what I was like. I ain't playing defense no more. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Because he's still getting 44 and I'm trying. Fuck this. I'm just going. Uh, hey, that's funny as hell. Nah. So Motherfucker ain't gave you 40, G? Nah, niggas ain't gave me 40 that's for tough. sure. Uh, but like, probably like when James Harden had that like 30 mm. point streak. Like, part of that process. Yeah, he caught, he caught 50 one of them games. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ass. Nah, MVP Russ was crazy too. MVP Russ, unanimous stuff. Like, yeah, you saw the dogs. Yeah, yes. no, man. But I mean, that's why you still the league. They pay you good for that very reason. Cause that's you still. That's why I respect you, bro. Cause you had to play up against. You was literally guarding these niggas. So, and that's tough. Yeah, I and wish you still had him on our team. On. I, I would have loved to trade off. You want Kyrie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, nigga, that used to be. I like. Fuck. Hey, I ain't Man. gonna call it Cap like that. Kyrie, my favorite player, but I never forget. He was the first person to really like it. Nah, she was like, "Hey, nah," but that dude Kyrie is nasty. Like you, no, you was, I ain't gonna have you. Was the first person who was on that. Like. He that's crazy. So we're gonna take a break before we get further into your career. Obviously, almost near NBA free agency. When y'all see this, it already had passed. But so many, so much crazy shit has happened this offseason. Like the NBA offseason is damn near be better than the league sometimes, like the actual season, because mm -hmm. all the shit boys be doing. Like this Phoenix situation, how y'all feel like that? Y'all think that's gonna work? I don't know if you can speak on that or not, but like, I don't know if that's gonna work or not. Like, I know Kyrie bluffing with that, talking about he's about to go see what they're talking about, but I can't afford you. Like, but still, with them three and you eight, no, though, Kyrie, the type of dude, he might do something crazy. Like, yeah, he might take a vet might. minimum. Yeah, he, he might take he a might. vet minimum. Like, hey, I don't know. If he I take a vet minimum, that. that'll fuck the NBA up. My thing is, you just got to get to the playoffs. You get to the playoffs, figure it out. Yeah, bro. Anything can happen. Yeah. For real. Oh, um, they got to be healthy, bro. All them dudes is like 20 games. Very games. injury. Yeah, you're in injury. Yeah, because shit, like, look good, like, but on paper, but, like, what are the odds that shit just go perfectly throughout the whole season? For any real. team, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, every team got these big threes, this and that, but, like, if one of them niggas drop off, like, is it the same team? You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it's just, it just depends. <laughs> yeah. I'm living proof. Told yeah. a lie. Yep. Bad ankle sprain. <laughs> got a ball. <laughs> <laughs> I got a ring somewhere. You know what's crazy? The, the fans still really be on his ass about their post. They hate you for that. They hate me, but it's bro. So, but everybody agrees afterwards. Yeah, yeah like, what y'all be saying? It's the truth. Shit. Yeah. One ankle sprain, I got a ring. I, and you, I just fuck with it because you retired. <laughs> That, that's the hardest <laughs> part. My nigga went in there and got a chip. Said yeah, this man. bullshit quote. <laughs> said, Fuck bitch, I'm done. Oh, God. <laughs> Somebody made me a picture of that shit on there. That's hard, that bro. Too. That's hard, though. Because, like you said, the chances that happening. The Bucks was cold the whole year, but we didn't think that y'all was going to. Well, I thought it's got response for sure, but I didn't know if y'all was going to get past that next Don't thing. say y'all. Say them. I, I'm mm. saying you. Nah, I was. Showing my respect. I was just there. <laughs> 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 they, they, was like playing, they was playing good. <laughs> you played though. 
I did. I did have a good game against Atlanta. I get you. That. <laughs> you wanted that game bad. Too. I <laughs> want. Oh my god. But anyway. <laughs> Anyways, so obviously with the free agency going on, both of y'all have been a part of trades. When you looking at your phone, you see that Woj bomb. Like, how you feel about that shit? Like, I gotta imagine because like seeing um oh boy got cut earlier, so it'll come to me later. Um, uh, Tony Tony Prince. Prince. Yeah, he was just like, damn, Woj, good looking. Oh, that's <laughs> crazy. I'm about to figure out where I'm about to work, and I just woke up from a nap. I would be shitty. That's the I'm business, though. He probably phone. knew in his heart, like... Yeah, he's about to check my phone. <laughs> check my phone real quick. Nah, but he probably knew in his heart, like, shit, shit they probably ain't going to pick it up. But he going to be good. He's a good player. He going to get picked yeah, up. He going to be smooth, too. Man. Yeah. I just think it's crazy. Like, regular people like us can't imagine that shit. Like, if I go to my job, it's like, hey, fam, yeah, you work on the east side now. You got a report in a week. Fuck y'all. Yeah. Like, I don't want to work that there no crazy. more. crazy. Because, you know, it teams would be like, family this, family that. Cat. But, like... No, nah, you ain't trading family. That's yo. a perfect like, segue. So, <laughs> would you rather have a championship or a max contract? Max contract, <laughs> easy. I hate don't niggas be, that be talking about this. I'll be no fool. Yeah, I just want to fucking win and no, My, nigga, I, I want to get paid. Them hundred million dollar <laughs> like, bags, like, 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 man, you get the max contract, then okay, then yeah, you want to yeah, win. Now yeah. it's time to win. Like shit, fuck that. Yeah, I want to lose. Got, so I niggas got to pay the bills. <laughs> so I told y'all, <laughs> Carmelo <laughs> Anthony, Anthony is my idol. Yeah. Yeah. He told Miami, "Fuck y'all," <laughs> and went back to New York. I said, "He's the goat. Yeah, he's the greatest sort of player guy, ever." I love that. Because yeah. like, I, I would be on a losing team at average 20, get a max deal, then I'd be like, fuck, man. Y'all need to trade me, man. I'm trying to win. Oh, God. <laughs> that, man, fuck all that hey, shit. That's why I think it's the hardest shit. When niggas sign new deals in year one, be like, yeah, I'm not happy. Yeah. Get me the fuck out of here. That's why yeah, I was so mad at DeMarcus Cousins. I'm like, why didn't you do what Anthony Davis did? <laughs> Say, fuck sign you. a deal and force the hand, yeah. bro. Facts. Or saying, always sign these the motherfuckers deal. don't care. You can go sign, buy a ring, sign bro. the deal, get paid, sign the fucking sign deal. Because when you done playing, don't nobody remember you won a championship. Nobody, fuck, bro. Nobody That's remember it. Mario Chalmers and Norris Cole for winning that shit. <laughs> oh, my mama, I love Norris Cole. Shout to Norris. He fuck with him. I the swear, time. I fuck with him like a motherfucker. But yeah, I guarantee, boy. I swap. I tell Mike, I swap you out, Paul. Like anytime, that, that was crazy. That I gotta relax. Is wild. I gotta relax. Yeah, you was out of pocket. <laughs> I'm out of relax. Just say trade careers. Yeah, we gotta be. I swear to God, you're Hold intelligent. On. You can, you can. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, you're intelligent. <laughs> you're intelligent. Yeah, I ain't got time you're a smart guy. Yeah, yeah, he always <laughs> on that. Out. Yeah, he's <laughs> out. Yeah, he's out. You never talk to He always on that, bro. <laughs> yeah, Max Steel, it, fuck that ring. I don't give a what shit. year did Jokic get there? He what got you? there. Well, so we was drafted the same year, and then he came in that next year. So okay. my second year was his. his Did you know year. he was cold? Yeah. Then he was like, like, he, like his first training camp, and like he came over because he had played summer league, and he he played decent in summer league. But we just like, oh nah, like he he all right. That's when we had Nurkish too. Yeah, yeah. And that's when Nurkish was the starter, and I love Nurk. And he was yeah. just like, and Nurk would be like, hey, come on, you you really think he's good? I'm like, nah, bro. <laughs> he, he he good, bro. And then he just took off ever since, especially once like they had traded Nurk. Mm -hmm. Man. And that was crazy. Nurk came in your year, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's yep. crazy. In the two year span, they had two elite centers. Yeah. That's crazy. But they got them in the same draft. They got Nurk 16, me and 19, Yoke at 44 or something. Stashing. Yeah, yeah. Stashing mm. for a year, then he came over. That's all that crazy. scouting shit matter, bro. That's a fact. That matters. Bro. I swear to God, like, scouting matters so much, especially with the new CBA that's going on right now. It's about to make front offices like, hey, you're going to have to really put that work in because you can't just go sign everybody. Yeah, so you team. really got them second round picks be the ones that turn into the, the fucking franchise savers. Honestly, if you look at it, which I had a whiff. I knew Jokic was good. Our first game, we had an assistant coach named Kenny Atkinson at the time. He said he the best player on the team. Damn. So who the fuck is that? Oh, you did mm -hmm. say that. Yeah. yeah. He was like, nah, he's cold. He was yeah. like, you got to watch him. He cold. And he had 12 and 10 on us. Yeah. And we know Al Horford, that's when we was pretty good. Al Horford mm -hmm. was killing. And I was like, man, that motherfucker kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> then next year, he just kept getting better. And now, shit. Yeah. He, best player in the league. Yeah, no, he cold. That Four shit crazy. Taking over yeah, the league. He cold. He cold. How did it feel when you had the leader? Because I, you, like, I could see this happening. Not a championship, but I could mm -hmm. see Denver being a top team in the league. Like, mm -hmm. even when you was there... Like them years, y'all were always good. Like we feared, mm -hmm. like we everybody was scared of y'all. Like fuck, we gotta play Denver. Like how was it to leave? Man, that shit was like it was different. Like it, I felt like at that time, like it for me personally, like at that point at where I was in my life, mm -hmm. I felt like I was I needed it to to grow as like a man at that point in my life. And that shit was tough though, like because I remember we was on the bus, like we that's back when Toronto, that's when the bubble thing had just ended. So Tampa or. uh Toronto was playing in Tampa. Mm -hmm. yeah, and so we was down in Tampa and we was about to get on a flight to New Orleans and it's trade deadline. It's just like, 
you could feel like some shit finna happen. Like mm. we get stuck in traffic like right before the plane. Like we sit there 45 uh, minutes for getting on a plane. We like, all right, y'all, like, fuck going on? <laughs> like we in the back of fuck going on up there? Like, so then like after like five minutes, the GM come back, it's like, yeah, nah, it's me, RJ Hampton. He's like, yeah, RJ, Gary, we trade you guys to Orlando, this and that. And uh, that shit like really hit me. Cause I was just like, man, I, I'm damn near ready to get out of here. This and that, I'm ready to go. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. Maybe it's just time. But then once that shit hit, it's like, oh shit. <laughs> this shit real. Like team getting on the plane and we get back on the on a big ass coach bus and we driving back to the hotel in Tampa. And they had a car there and we drove to Orlando. I'm like, man, I'm here already. Like that shit was crazy. Damn. That's and then crazy. We went from like that year after Orlando, they had traded everybody. So it was like they was kind of like they could have kind of made a little push for the playoffs. Like, mm -hmm. but nah. You would have to kind of like it had to go exactly how they wanted it to go. And we get in there, it was different. We end up dropping a few games and then it's just over, season over. We come back next year, we ain't compete for shit. Mm -hmm. And that was just like, damn, this shit different. Like from going to playing like meaningful basketball and getting ready, like playing in them playoff games and shit to being one of the worst teams in the league. I'm like, bro, this shit, damn, this is different. Like. You don't appreciate winning. You don't. Pre you don't realize. You know it's hard to win in the league, but you appreciate it more once you leave. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, man, it's hard to win in this league. And like a lot of motherfuckers don't be understood, especially the young guys coming in. Like that shit hard to win in this league. You're not just gonna go out there and win just because you think you cold this and that. Like you got to be able to play together as a team. And there's a few niggas that like. So we got Paolo. Paolo. He he wanted them like that. Nah, he wanted oh, them. Like he he, he moved differently. Yeah, he think right. differently. Yeah, he's this whole was big, this whole bro. year was different. Like. We down competing. We started five and twenty. We had injuries. I had torn my meniscus. Markel not playing. Uh, but once everybody got back healthy, we was damn near five hundred. Yeah, and we year. and we going and that's straight. We last three games, we damn near got a chance to make the play in. And it's just like we looking at Miami, like man, we damn near want to play Miami. Woo. And it's just like. Shit, we not that far, but it's just like you better appreciate it. You better start this shit the right way, cause yeah. that shit ain't that shit ain't given to you. Cause I think y'all was better than Miami, man. How you feel about Bobo? Oh, that's my dog, Bo Cole. He he, he won the coldest. Bro. Man, he cold. He was cold, like, I, I love watching Bo play. Like he, he he's tough. What, tough. what you think? Like, what's the what are you missing that can't get him? Like it's like hard. And I and I saw him in Denver because it's like. It's just hard. I feel like sometimes, like, it's not meant for you to figure out. Yeah. Like, I don't think, like, in Denver, I don't think they tried to really, like, relate to him enough. And they just kind of, it was hard. He's playing, he's playing mm -hmm. behind Yoke. He's playing behind Mason Plum. He's playing against, like, we're a playoff team. Like, so it's yeah, like, we yeah. kind of have a rotation set. So, like, in a sense, it's hard for a rookie to come in, especially someone who's been like him. You know what I'm saying? Being a top five player and always been, you know, highly like touted. That. Um, then for him to slide in the draft and then to be on our team, like he wants to prove himself. So I'll see how much work he puts in. So it's just tough and it's hard mentally. Um, but even like in Orlando, he's been a lot better. It's been mm -hmm. a lot better. And then he was able to play a lot more this year, but it still curves. And I feel like he's still learning, but he's someone that's like, he's willing to learn. I can see him maturing and really like getting better each year. So, yeah. and that's, uh, that's one thing I applaud to John Wall about when he was talking about the Rockets scenes. He's like, hey, the shit y'all doing right now is not real. Y'all niggas down here playing AAU. And now this year, they got a real coach going down there and they about to get some like some real vets. That shit dead. Like Jalen Green still gonna get his shots, but the time for everybody else to shoot the ball whenever the fuck they want to, nah, it's about to be priority down there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. My nigga Kevin Porter still gonna do his thing. Kevin Porter's gonna be having to do it off the bench. <laughs> I ain't gonna I lie, he cold. He gave too. us 50 hey, one game. Hey, oh, oh, yeah, he cold. Yeah, he, he cold. cold. He cold. Yeah. I was like, damn. Yeah. He don't coach stopping him, bro. He had 50, but. And he had 50 on yeah. Drew. Like, Elite. Drew took at least 28 of those. Oh, I probably had a good. <laughs> that, why 12. you gonna put the numbers in? <laughs> hey, I had 12. A top Christmas bow on both of them niggas. <laughs> yeah. Ain't nobody in the league. But guard this, how, him, this when I knew Drew was a dog. We played him again. He was at the woman was looking for him. Damn. Like, Kevin Porter ain't play. He was hot. So I think he probably playing. was sick. He's all like, oh, he ain't playing. Probably was six. Was like, That's damn, all. Drew. Nah, you, said oh, you know me. I was like, damn, Drew, got you fifty. <laughs> <laughs> He's all. I was like, I'm a hater. I'm like, damn, he got you fifty, Drew. He's like, I think they might have beat us too. 
So yeah, he was hooping. And what's so crazy about that, like you mentioned, like the difference between organizations, like people who play for multiple organizations in the NBA always talk about the difference of like the standards, the difference of feeling around. Like you said, Orlando was clearly rebuilding. They drafting a whole bunch of players, getting two point guards, and they getting too big. Like they just drafting, but then you see like Denver, they got a winning culture. Y'all had to fight in the West to just get in the playoffs. Y'all could get like 50 wins and be fighting for an AFC. Yeah, we knocked them out. Yeah, we're like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all had a, a classic matchup to end up changing yeah, the man. NBA. Yeah, man. Classic times. My only good year in game. Minnesota. <laughs> Your only good year in Minnesota. The rest of the years is trash, man. Why is the rest of the years trash? Because, <laughs> man, it wasn't talking about nothing. But what happened that year, though? We end up being a top three seed, Jimmy Terrace, Meniscus, and we like, fuck, it's over. And we just start falling. Boom, boom, boom. Every game, we just drop it. Boom, boom, boom. Jimmy come back. He say the day. I'm like, oh, shit, we going to make the playoffs. And then we see them. And I'm like, damn, we don't never play good against them. We never play good against them. And where did y'all play them at? We in played Minnesota. in Minnesota. That's what that's, that's, it was a save. Home cooking. Yeah, but we never played good against them. So we start the game off. I'm like, let me guard Gary. <laughs> nah, cause Joke and uh, Jamal Murray do too many fucking pick and rolls. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, let me borrow gear. But this nigga started the game off running fast as hell. <laughs> so I'm like, ah, oh, hell no. Nah. So I'm like, cause I was like, Jimmy, you guard Murray, so yeah. you and Taj can switch the pick and rolls. But then he come out running the way. I'm, I'm like, fuck. All right, fuck that. I can forget who y'all start. I mean, might be Will. No. Yeah, Will. 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 I'm like, Will. I'll take yeah, Will. Yeah, Will. I'm like, let me get Will. <laughs> they like, you want him going to do ISO? I'm like, a guard ISO. I ain't guarding this nigga. He cutting too much. And you was going <laughs> off like he'll throw it in the yoke and start doing all that cutting and shit. I'm like, oh, <laughs> hell no. <nah." laughs> so the game is getting good. So they like, you got to guard Murray. Because this mm. nigga, they was fucking me up. Because <laughs> Murray wasn't killing that first. He was fucking me up. Will Bar was fucking me up. What happened when you switch? <laughs> Oh my God. He started going crazy. I said, I felt so bad. Murray started stepping back, hit three. I said, oh shit. I'm about to lose the game. I don't know the reason we're about to lose. So I, I hit a couple of shots and like evened it out, but then he was cooking me. Then Jimmy went to Jimmy mode. Man. Yeah. Nah. Yo could try like 40 something. 40. No, nah, that yeah, shit was like crazy. That shit was, was crazy. fucking cat up. That shit went to over, overtime too. Yeah. yeah, that shit went to overtime. Yeah. So in the overtime, we Talk getting the overtime. It. It's a minute to go. I'm throwing the ball to Jimmy. I'm running to the corner. <laughs> I don't want this person. He smoke. What? I was like, ah. Minnesota already hated me. I don't, they gave me all this money. Minnesota didn't like me. They traded Rubio. So I said, I'm not fucking this shit up. <laughs> Let me get to the corner. This nigga, Jimmy said, come get the ball. What the fuck are you doing? He threw it to me. I passed it back to him. Get the shit out of here. Go that way. Wiggins over there. All them niggas over there. Threw it back to me. I hit a floater. Like 40 seconds ago. I was so scared to shoot that shit. I, I think, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I just threw that bitch over with it. I said, oh my God. Do you remember that shit? Man, yeah, I remember that <laughs> shit, man. I was on the bench at this point. Yeah. Damn, yeah. I was so scared. I said, oh shit. Oh, I got another story about me and G. He sprained my MCL. Man, look. look. Damn, G, you took him out of here. Bro, I didn't even mean to do that shit. And I remember my pops. He's like, hey, man, what's what's up with you, man? You the, the fuck to you up? I'm like, man, I didn't. Then it came out of you. I was like, damn. I bro. remember that. I said, fuck that, my nigga. Man, <laughs> I showed him the video. I said, man, he from that. Man, said, no. I said, fuck. What happened, it was like a loose ball. Yeah. Man, bro. Oh, damn. Yeah, my fault for that. Nah, bro. it's all my good. Fault. Man, my knees ain't shit now because of that. <laughs> but don't worry about it. What are you, G? Oh, that started it? Yeah, it did, though. Man. It's all good, though. <laughs> it was fucked up. God's <laughs> time. <laughs> See, he's a fucked up person, bro. He has a bad, he has bad karma coming to him. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, nah, but what I loved about you was like, the way you moved without the ball, like learn play with a Jokic and shit, and y'all like, guarding you. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Like you were a nightmare cutting and all that shit. Obviously, you could shoot, but you was a nightmare cutting. I don't. You was like in a perfect situation with that. I was like, damn, this nigga is on the perfect team. That shit was crazy. Like appreciate that because like Jokic, we seen how good he was like passing the ball. That just how how he was. It's like he really making the right play every yeah. time, and it's like. You know, everybody got like a little ego to him, this and that. He literally has no ego. Like, he's really like. And you can tell too. What the defense gives him. Like, especially once you give him attention, like, he don't even want all that attention. Like, I even say he damn near like, he didn't really want to win that MVP this year. Like, I believe it. Like, once all the, like, they started talking about like all the other stuff and different narratives, like, he was just like, I'm cool. I'm yeah. straight. 
they went on a little five game losing streak. You know what I'm saying? They put in B first, and then I feel like I took off a lot of pressure off them as a team in general. I believe and, it. Uh, but just playing with him, bro, he's so selfless. You see, like everybody can see it on a bigger stage, but like that's literally been him the whole time. That's awesome. And uh, that shit was fun, bro. He he make that shit way easier for everybody. Man, he he cold. I was like, nah, I don't even know sure, what else God. to say. Dude. Nah, that's real. What about the switching in and going to the Magic and shit and having like Markel Foles? Like to see him start returning to Markel Foles, this is the most games he played. Like he was a number one pick for a reason. Yeah, like nah, Jokic is, he's up there with Jokic with his passing and his feel. Like, and Markel is such a selfish player too. Like he literally just getting guys involved. Like yeah. he's just putting pressure on the defense. He doing whatever the team asks, and he doing with a smile on his face every time. That he bring the so athletic, bruh. Bro, he's so <laughs> athletic, bro. This shit, he caught like a one hand, like windmill oop, like a, like a tip back. Bro, a tip he's thumb. so athletic, bro. I didn't know he was athletic, bro. He he's the way so he athletic. moves on the court is just so awkward and just like so fluid at the same time, and it's just. He's special, and he and he been knocking down a shot. Like I see how much work he put in. I, Markel gonna have a crazy year this year, yeah, and bro. I think people gonna realize that like he was the number one pick yeah, for a reason. Yeah, nah, he nah, he deserved everything he got coming to him. Mm, that yeah. nigga put in that work for real. Nah, yeah. it, it's hard like for like you know for niggas to hit adversity and for niggas to bounce back. Like that's that's part of the whole league and shit too. Because that shit gonna hit the fan at some point. That's yeah. Right. It's a matter of you going to just get back up, keep fighting, keep pushing. And just to see, like, how he come in every day, just to, to how he is, like, man, like, I got number so much respect for him. That's my dog, for real. Who you took under your wing on that team? Because, man, like, yeah, you the vet. Damn, they're all, they're, they're everybody. Just, I was like, because I remember when we played y'all my last year, I was like, damn, he the old head on that man, team. Man, no, see, man, <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Like, he's 27, he no, the old head. That's I went crazy. from being a young nigga to being the oldest nigga. I was, I was the old, after we traded Terrence Ross, I was the oldest nigga on the team. That's crazy. That's crazy. Damn. Yeah, so I was, I was been trying to just help them guys with everything, just being professional, just taking things seriously and just like, not taking like shit for granted because like it's a great coaching staff in Orlando and like mm -hmm. it's a great situation. But like if niggas don't win, like they will mix this up and like <laughs> do <laughs> not, yeah, do not take this for granted. Like these games in the beginning, like this shit means something. Like next year, like come back. If, if I'm still with the team next year, like we got to come out and we got to win, not just for ourselves. We want everybody to get paid. We got to win for the coach because we fuck with our coach. So mm -hmm. it's just like, we got to really like lock in and just being professional and taking the game serious and just really understanding like you can affect the game in way more ways. Like you got to understand like who's going to have the ball on our team. And we got a talented team. He probably got the Ooh, most first round pick. Boy, so it's I like, I got hella guards. Y'all got a so whip, it, bro. It's hard. Like motherfuckers being there because motherfuckers want to show that game. And it's just like, there's a way you do it because you can look crazy if you try to go out there and just make it all about you. And, and even if you kill it, they're going to be like, yeah, but you're not listening. And in the NBA, that shit make way more of a difference. Man, I'm telling you. Because if you're not getting you better, like better. 25, 30 PPG, you can't be replaced. You better follow the assignment. <laughs> that man, Carol, motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker different. Motherfucker's turning though. in the wrong assignment. Like, you doing the work, but that's not the right work you need to be doing. Facts. Like, to play on this team. Each yeah. team is different. Like, each mm -hmm. situation is different. You got to understand, like, what can I do for this team to help affect them so they can trust me to be on the court? Then once you get on the court... And you playing, then you can start doing more shit. But you can't just come out just trying to show your bag off the rip. Like they gonna be like, bro, we pay him to do that, not you. And but like you say, you playing on a team full of lottery picks, and they like they trying to show, hey, I can do what I did in college, and they like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I need you to do this. But that's why they got people like him in the locker room and mm -hmm. on the court, cause he like, I feel like you like a stable person in the whole locker room on the court too, like. Cause I seen games where you didn't start, and I seen when you was hurt, and then I seen when you came back, you was starting again. And it's like, nah, you need a person like him with all these young guys that they can lean on. But he played both ends. So it's like the perfect example. So I I imagine you should be back there. Who it's, the point guard on the team? They got two men. They got five. <laughs> <laughs> they, got <eight. laughs> they got Cole. They got oh, Sub. They yeah. got Mark Pill folks. Mm -hmm. And they, they got Ed Black right now. Yeah, Black. Black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I wonder what they're doing. And we them. acting like Franz and Paolo don't be having the ball in their hands. And they, yeah, nice. they be pushing it too. Yeah. Franz is nice to the motherfucker. Franz cold. Yeah, he, he <laughs> cold. Bro. Yeah. yeah, he nice. Man. Hey, what yeah. you thought about when they was fighting? Uh, <laughs> bro, that shit was the funniest shit ever, How dog. you get suspended one game? <laughs> man, I was, man, my foot was on the court, man. That was some bullshit, bro. I know you were shitty. Bro, that's some bullshit. Oh, damn. I see that. I said, damn, they gave my boy one man, game. Man, bro, no, nah, because like, because... You talking about Detroit one or yeah, you talking yeah. about the uh, the Minnesota one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, hey, niggas. <laughs> what y'all want, Orlando, bro? 
So the Detroit one, that shit, was, that was a nasty game. Like, bro, the refs was like bullshit. They wasn't calling no fouls. Like, that shit was just ugly. Yeah. And like, it was like a loose ball. And like, I love Mo Wagner. Like, if you not on the team, you might not. You might oh, not. God, you I might hate, hate it. it. <laughs> but hate it. like, yo, you on the team with him? I'm like, yo, that's my dog. Like, yo, you like, I love going to like work with him and playing with him. That's somebody you want on your team. But he be on bullshit sometimes. And he was frustrated. Everybody frustrated. And Killian Hayes about to go for the ball. And he kind of like, it's a loose ball. It's about to be over and back. But Killian Hayes running hella hard. So he just kind of like fell to check him. He go flying. And I'm like, oh, shit. And it's right. He right over there on the bench. And then like once we seen, like we couldn't see. We just seen him fall behind the bench. And everybody, the coaches was trying to hold us back. Everybody just ran. And we was just like, we was just trying to make sure everything was cool. Seeing nobody was doing nothing. Everybody just pushing and doing yeah. this and that. And then, like, we come back. They eat, like, it's like 45 minutes before we can play the game. We like, damn. Niggas damn was suspended. <laughs> it's like, fuck. They let That's us play the game. Last time. I ain't gonna lie, he got him in the back of the head. No, nah, he did. He did though, and, then, and we like, bro, did he knock you out? And he's like, no, nah, I was just trying to sell it. I'm like, bro, you don't do that in no time like that, bro. Like, he didn't make wins, and he just <laughs> that shit, bro, about to get everybody fucked. <laughs> Damn, acting like he knocked out, bro. Man. He was about to go to war hey, for it. Man, make NBA fights great again. I miss the NBA where niggas get a clean swing off and everybody be cool. We ain't seen none of our superstars slap hands like that. I would Man, love to see never go see. <laughs> I would love uh, to see y'all just lean a nigga off the strip. I thought Melo money. was going to knock know his brother going to come on the court. Oh, they going to jump on you know, all they, them. He's is. definitely hopping on the court. <laughs> the Charlotte Hornets will lead the league in fights. That'd be a hockey team. Them niggas <laughs> are crazy. <laughs> I mean, I ain't talking about them. <laughs> hey, that's I fuck with the Charlotte Hornets. Hey, we bro. like, yeah, that's my thing. Oh, oh, yeah, you know how I'm If I was in the league, I would have played Charlotte. It's up. <laughs> That's a, wild, that's a wild group, bro. Shout out to Terry Rose here. That's my dog. I okay. fuck with T. I yeah, fuck nah, with T. Him. Nah, he real yeah. solid. They do whatever the fuck they yeah. want out there. Yeah. I love it. And he cold, too. Terry man. Rose here, he, he got to get away from there, though. <laughs> he deserves more. Yeah, he, he does, more. bro. Nah, he, he <laughs> my little niggas out there, they turned up. <laughs> he an OG now. He more <laughs> like G. Yeah, like, yeah, he deserves yeah, more, man. Yeah, yeah. He need to go to the Lakers or something, Hey, that's crazy. They got a roster. They got Gordon Hayward, LaMelo Ball, and Terry Rose there. That's just a nasty death. Free Gordon. No, keep him. Free Gordon, don't do G like that. Gordon deserves better too. He does. Just yeah, not the Pacers. G, I fuck with you. Don't. I don't. G, don't come to the Pacers. I don't want nobody right. from the crater to come to the Pacers. Nah, come to the Pacers, bro. No, you gonna love those. it, bro. They got the best medical staff ever. Why wouldn't you say you be messing nah. for everybody else? To come to that I weekend. I don't thing? want that for them, bro. I don't want that for them. I want them to go and flourish and win. And you know that's not where we are right now. We we got the tank, no limit sign right now. We not <laughs> we not trying to get to the playoffs. Every time I see these draft picks and all this stuff, that's any rumors. Don't Ooh. know. Y'all go fucking Tank. pick Adam Sandler anyway. It don't fucking matter. And listen to <laughs> him, bro. And listen. Don't listen to him, bro. Don't listen. listen to him. Y'all don't year, fucking know how to draft anyway. I was nervous as hell this year. When I said they, they put Randy Dick up, I said, I swear to God, y'all better not draft this nigga. I will fucking lose it. I don't uh, want another white person to go wherever the bag is. Jersey lit though. Who? <laughs> Grady Dick's jersey oh, ball. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> number one, number one. <laughs> Dick is crazy. Keep it on fucking this episode. <laughs> now that's that. Like if I had my just last name, just call him GD, bro. Oh no, nah, I ain't doing that. So go my name. If my last name was Dick, bro, I would have got number one jersey too, bro. That's crazy. You out of pocket, bro. <laughs> Stop, bro. What, what are you doing? My dick. No, you would have been fucking dick, zero. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's a fucking, he's a fucking scumbag. Yeah. Fuck. Hey. He's a scumbag, bro. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm fucking the 55, too. The 55 the was 55 fire. was nasty. <laughs> Only because you was in Boston. If you was anywhere else, you'd look like you probably was no lie. more numbers left. They retire everybody number in Boston. Man, I was like, damn, I got 12. He's like, nah, it's gone. Thought like, my nigga was a linebacker. <laughs> <laughs> he be on that. What you wear, bro, Ripple, bro? Uh, <laughs> five, nigga. Why the fuck Just, did you have five? Because I, I hoop like KG, ho ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the big ticket. <laughs> the, the biggest. Fuck you. <laughs> Gee, y'all play Robin High School? <laughs> Nah, nah. nah we was ain't they still in school when you was in high school? Nah, they was. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The yeah. niggas been in the parking lot for about five years. Nah, we renovating. <laughs> <laughs> to what? <laughs> <laughs> I you are crazy. ridiculous. Uh, hey, man, before we got here, a couple takes I want to ask y'all. We're going to make it real quick. So, obviously, with a lot of transactions about to happen, blind take. Who do y'all think is going to win the trade? Not the trade let on. Who y'all think going to win free agency? What team y'all think going to really clean up? It's gonna actually work. I 
ain't give a fuck. Yo, give a fuck. <laughs> fuck our <laughs> listeners. <laughs> I mean, I was here about. I just want everybody to get paid. Everybody I know, I want them to get paid. I want, I want everybody to get paid. I yeah, swear. Including you. Man, get paid, G. Get, get paid. paid. That's swear. all I care about. I want Man. everybody to make $500 million. Swear. Just, somebody got to be, somebody got to take the mid level exception. Shit, somebody get that 12. Come on. I want something crazy to happen. I want James Harden to go somewhere and fuck up the algorithms. I want Kyrie to go somewhere on a vet minimum and fuck. Like, I just want bullshit. I like when the NBA is chaos because it pisses everybody else off. That's all I want to happen. I got one more question for you. Tunnel fits. The God. Yeah. <laughs> Why were you in Paris, man? Why were you in yeah, Paris? Like, man, I did it last year. I okay, last my fault, year. my fault. Yeah, I, How I was, was cool. It? Nah, that shit was smooth. It was smooth. And I just went to Paris like, like a month ago. So I, I didn't want to spin back, but. That should be smooth though. Like that, like the fashion shit, like in Paris, like just getting out, like seeing shit, like in a different country. It just puts shit in like perspective. I'll be fucking mm-hmm. with it. Yeah. Like when you start getting into fashion, like I'll probably say, shit. Soon as I uh, soon as I uh, was about to go to the league, I started getting a little money. I got the uh, little, little CA advance, man. I started trying to get some clothes and shit. Mm-hmm. I want to get some shoes, clothes, and then shit. That's that's just how I started. Like, I mean, I ain't really want much. I used to just get hella shoes and I just started liking different types of clothes and then it just became a whole different, like a whole thing. Now everybody do the shit, like especially like the whole league fits, the tunnel mm-hmm. fits. It became like a whole way just to like showcase who you are and just mm-hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? It should be smooth. Now you get busy. Now you get crazy with it. Also, yeah. respect with the appreciate. feast because you was early with the Kobe's. Man, uh, you was very early with the Kobe. Man, man. man, I was with Adidas. I used to be pissed. Man, I look at this nigga feet. Swear, nah, the, the Cubs was man. The Cubs is crazy now though. Like nah. they, that shit. I want to fight because every nigga in the NBA got Grinches, and I don't. I think that's crazy. We need to start regulating niggas who get the hoop and Grinches too. Man, like uh, him and Trey Lyles used to go. Nah, crazy. Trey Lyles got crazy. the craziest nah, Kobe collection. Nuts, yeah, we, we our lockers was right next to each other in Denver, and. Bro, he, he got so many Kobe's. Like, he gets all of them. Yeah, all of them. Him, yeah. DeMar DeRozan, and fucking Thad Young got <laughs> all the damn Kobe's. DeMar DeRozan. Yeah, nah. Crazy. Ain't not nobody DeMar. got DeMar beat. Nah, nobody. Nah, yeah. not even uh, Book. Nah. But DeMar DeRozan shit is ridiculous, Nah, bro. he's crazy. But he had the inside because he fucked with him in college. So he was he was one of the reasons why um, USC got the Kobe's and shit. Like, nah. so he was bench cheeks, bro. Yeah, he but, had the blueprint. Gee, I give it to you. You had a Kobe game. Nah. But Trey... Trey is crazy. Yeah, Damn. nah, I gotta say Trey number one. Trey number one. Yeah, for sure. this Kobe game crazy. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. I'm Over rushing. Your boy PJ. PJ, PJ got everything. He don't PJ care. Got everything. He's, he's got on his own. Oh, okay. He like hoes. He, he, yeah, he, 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 he ain't on them lists. He, oh, okay. he is understood. List. Understood. He yeah. shit different. Got he respect. Got every. I went to that. <laughs> he got every single Kobe. The house. That the, shit the real cool. house of hoops. Yeah, it's crazy. Before we get out of here, Jay, I gotta put you on the spot. Indiana kid, you can exclude yourself out of this or include yourself. Who do you think one of the hardest players out of out of Indiana is? Out of Indiana? Mm-hmm. And you could put it any time, like anybody who there was in high school or college at any point. Open question. Mm-hmm. Bro, high school, I gotta say his brother. Like, and I would like, you know, growing up just seeing like, mm-hmm. you know, like the whole air like that y'all had, like, and then the Mike Conley and the Greg Oden. Like, it's been the basketball been cold. Like, even like Jasmine Roberts had Coach K coming to games and shit. Mm-hmm. Elite. But, yeah, playing against Marcus, like I remember just like just Indiana basketball high school, like them games used to just be fun. Like I remember one time we was playing at H and C and like our crowd used to be crazy. They used to be talking shit and Marcus just popping off at the crowd the whole time. <laughs> but them, these niggas was going at us though. And like I remember the nigga was guard, I seen it on film. And I ain't never seen like niggas know like nigga his handles is crazy. But it was at the top of the key, and he was guarding one of the like one of the white boys was guarding him, and then big center Randy Gregory was right behind because like we know he finna get past, bro. Like we trying to <laughs> make sure have somebody at the rim. Nigga hit these niggas with a mean right to left, and nigga shook both niggas and went down the lay and just laid that bitch in, and just like man, like that nigga used to be cold, just For still people. is cold. But like then when he popped Kentucky, then won national championship, like mm-hmm. we like man. Niggas really doing it. It's just everybody around that time was cold though. Like nigga, Yogi was cold. 
Facts. Ronnie Johnson. Ronnie Johnson was like, man, that was one of my favorite point guards. Ronnie was Ronnie. Hey, you know yeah. what's crazy too? Uh, my boy Trayvon Blue at the time period was nice too. Oh, oh, oh. Man, he gonna get a bucket. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 That's when Trey was built yeah. like Paul Pierce. Yeah. <laughs> Put a burn. 30 a night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to shoot that ball, man. 30 yeah. a night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so, sir. Fat Trey went crazy. And that's so funny, like, <laughs> explaining everybody, like, high school basketball different because everybody in these teams had a pro. That's not normal nowhere yeah, else. For nah. sure. Everybody yeah, had a pro. Sure. I sure. still remember a highlight he had. Went through the lane and punched that motherfucker was on TV for about a year. <laughs> when that motherfucker on Sports Center or some shit? Man, it uh, was something wild. He dunked that shit was all over the fucking Yeah, yeah that I remember that motherfucker was on TV for a I'm like, who exactly, is this motherfucker? Like, he played exactly football. That's what you talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh -huh. He played football. Nigga, <laughs> palm that motherfucker. Man, that's what I used to palm that bitch. Damn. For sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I laughs> man, no, yeah. for sure. Like, that's I how we're talking about. Yeah. That's yeah. why you got the one game suspension. They thought you was about to slap somebody. They thought you was about to come with a sleeper. Nah, that nigga had some highlights, bro. I'm like, damn. They like, my brother was like, nah, he liked that. Damn. All right, man. Well, G, man, we appreciate you sliding through 520, nah, man. We can't wait show. to see what you're going to do this year, man. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? That phone going to be a little bit of good news man, here shortly. By the time y'all right see now. this. Hey, you about to check right now. By the time y'all see this episode, my boy will be, you know what I'm saying, on vacation, kicked up, celebrating a new contract. Well wishes and healthy to my boy, G. Hey, like, share, subscribe. All that good shit. We'll be back next week.